Hi guys and welcome to part 27 of Angular with Firebase application tutorials. On this part we are going to implement authentication, so for that let's go to our Firebase application and change the rules for accessing database. So go to database, rules and change the true values to authentication should not be null. To save the changes press the publish button and the rules were changed. Now let's go back to our application. To implement the Firebase authentication we need to import the Angular Fire auth module. So for that we go to app.module.ts file and on the Firebase configuration section just paste this import. So we import the Angular Fire auth module. This belongs to Angular Fire 2 slash auth. Next let's go to our navbar.component.html file and here we are going to add two additional buttons. We are going to add the login and the logout button. When the user is authenticated, we are going to show to the user the logout button. And when the user is not authenticated, we are going to show the login button so he can be authenticated. And also we are going to add an ng if condition for each of the navigation items so the user does not see them unless he is authenticated. For that just write ng if authenticated. Let's save the changes and go back to our navbar.component.ts file. And here we need to make some imports as well. The first thing that we need to import is the Angular Fire auth. And then after that, let us import everything from the Firebase slash app. Then next, we are going to add the user property inside our class, which is going to hold the logged in user. Next, just add an authenticated property, which is going to be used to define if the user is authenticated or not. Inside our constructor, we are going to inject the Angular Fire which we are going to use to define if we have a logged in user or not. To define if we have an authenticated user, we are going to write this.af.authentication state. And since this is an observable, we are going to subscribe to this one by writing subscribe. And as a result, we are going to get a subscription. So we name this auth. We check if we have a user authenticated. And if we have one, we get the user and we set authenticated to true. And to log in the user, we are going to use this.af.auth. The method is going to be sign in with pop-up. So we write sign in with pop-up. And as a parameter, we need to give an authentication provider. And since we have configured already that our provider for authentication is going to be Google, then we just write in here new firebase.auth.google authentication provider. This means that when the user clicks the login button, he's going to be prompted with a pop-up from Google to enter the Google credentials so he can log into our application. After the user has been authenticated, we need to set the authentication state to true. So we just write this.authenticated is equal to true. The same way we create the logout function. For that we just write this.af.auth.signout. The user has been signed out. Then we just change the authenticated state to false by writing this.authenticated is equal to false. Save the changes and go back to your browser. Now we see that at the top right of our application we have the login button. We see that button because we have not been authenticated yet. To log in, we press the login button and we see that we are going to get the Google authentication pop-up. We enter the credentials and we press the next button. You see that after the user is being authenticated, the logout button is shown on the top right of the view. To log out, just press the logout button and we see that from the logout, the login button is being shown. But we see that all the books are shown anyway. It doesn't matter if you are authenticated or not, we see all the books from the database. And this is what we are going to do on the next part. So on the next part, we are going to implement the authentication conditions for our home page. So guys. Thank you for watching and see you on the next part.